All right, this recording, we're going to, um, actually, this is a recording of a, of a recording, and I'm adding a voiceover. So um, we're working on some shoes, and uh, some unique shoes you just saw there just a second ago. It happens a little flap. So um, basically, I'm taking uh, the body that you're using uh, for your uh, character, and uh, it's been exported as an OBJ, so it's kind of fragmented next time uh May want to save it out as an MA or MB file. It has that functionality. <coughs> Excuse me, that functionality and uh, ZBrush. So basically, what I did is selected everything in object mode, mesh, and combine. And so what we're going to do is uh, retope it. So we have the starting point of some shoes. And so uh, we go to the attribute editor there or the tool settings. And uh, first, we make the object live. Um, you can see right here, the live button right here was the, the magnet that will make it live. And then we went over uh, again to the attribute and then over uh, to the quad draw. And what I'm doing is just clicking with my left mouse button. Uh, you click, click, and then you hold your shift and click again with your uh, left mouse button. And basically this is just retoping. Uh, it actually can be fun. Um, just kind of take your time with it, make sure uh, these are quads. Uh, make sure you just nice and clean all the way around. You see I'm starting a band all the way around. Um, so just keep going around it. Uh, basically you're simplifying the, the foot. So you don't, obviously you don't want uh, toes as part of the shoe. And you can um, always adjust this. So I'm rolling over a, a movie uh, right now. So that's why this is popping up. But you can go over here and go to a corner and push it, pull it around uh, to fit where you want it. So if you're not happy with it, you can also do Apple Z. I think it'll go back a couple steps. And so um, just going through here and making like a kind of a shoe form uh, over it. So just keep going, clicking away. Again, you can grab those uh, edges. You can pull an edge and pull it out or a, a corner piece and move it to adjust it. Um, again, just click, hit your shift, uh, left mouse button. You can see there's some missing data there. It's like uh, somehow that got uh, deleted. All right. Uh, is that one missing one? It doesn't matter. I think maybe that normal was inversed, so it, that the uh, data is there, but uh, the normal was inversed. That's why it's showing up um, solid black there. So just kind of keep going around. And you see how I can adjust it, and that's with the left mouse button. It, as you see, it turns in a circle, or it highlights as an edge. You can move uh, stuff around. So right now, I just hit uh, either Control or option and you can add uh, more geometry and so you saw that it added I mean, more geometry there and also here I added just a little bit more. Uh, be uh, careful with that you don't want to add too much geometry you want to keep it very very simple as you're working on uh, the proportions. So you see I'm just keep stretching it all the way to the bottom and we'll continue on making uh, the shoe. Alright so we're going to click uh, continue on. Okay. Try to see if we can add enough geometry here to uh, make the enclosure of the tips of the shoe. Again, you want it all quad base. Again, we're simplifying it. We don't want the toes, but we do want the same portions, proportions. Okay, so you can try pulling this, uh, may go through. Now I would just go ahead and keep it to the top. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and go right click, uh, hold, and we're going to go to object mode or uh, just go ahead and disable it. And we're going to go to object mode. And I'm going to go to edit, delete by history, edit, delete by history. And that way it has a, no relationship uh, with that. Again, we turn off the live option. That was a little uh, magnet tool. And then we're going to... Uh, make this a little bit bigger and right now you can see our center point is over here in the origin and we want to go to um, modify center pivot and then that way we can stretch it out a little bit bigger than the shoe or, or the foot so we just scale it up 
hit W and hit R to scale up and then W to move. So we just want it a little bit bigger. Uh, you can go in and make some adjustments. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and delete it. Or uh, actually, I'm not going to delete it. We're just going to add another layer. Right click, add selected objects. Again, you have to be in object mode. Um, so we put on a T as a reference. And then what we're going to do now is um, use our append polygon tool. And so uh, I think it's uh, object mode, shift, and a pen polygon tool. And you may have to try it several times. You'll see me uh, unsuccessfully do it for the first two or three times. Uh, kind of have to do it in sequence. You'll see there's little uh, arrows. Once you get started, there's arrows. You kind of follow the arrow lead. And uh, you can always hit backspace or uh, Apple Z to undo. So what you want to do is three, and you're cr creating a quad. One, two, three, four lines quad. And then you'll, you'll do it again. Okay, hit enter. Then you can hit G to, to use the, the latest tool that you used earlier. And hit G. And that'll bring up the append uh, uh, tool. And so you see I accidentally selected the wrong area. And I hit Apple Z to go back step or delete. I'm not sure what I did. So again, G, the pen tool, hit enter. And you can see you want good, clean quads all the way across. And we'll probably have an issue near the end. We'll have probably have a triangle, but that's OK. Uh, no one will see the bottom of the shoe, just as long as uh, a majority of your uh, shoe is quads. Right, enter. And so here you'll see uh, our issues here. And you could do uh, a split here. Um, We have about six faces here. We need to make a quad. So I'm just going to go ahead uh, unsuccessfully. Again, follow your arrows that you see here. Follow the lead. Oops. And delete. Go back one. Hit enter. All right. And so now we have uh, basically a triangle right here. So that's not a quad. It's not really a good design, but uh, that's OK. All right. Enter. All right. So we have uh, the beginnings of a shoe. Uh, and now you can start uh, splitting, ex extruding faces, and so forth. So right now we're just uh, doing a little bit of cleanup. Uh, you can use the soft select tool uh, within the tool settings to do this. Uh, I'm just doing a really rough cleanup. Again, uh, you're using your foot underneath it with the T. It's kind of a wireframe to kind of give you uh, kind of a template where your shoe should be. If you want it just, you know, maybe a half a finger wider than the actual foot. Um, I'm going to start adding some more geometry right, around the uh, neck of the shoe. And this is, uh, if you go back to your uh, picture of your shoe, you can see there's kind of some ribbing around that foot. So I think I'm going to stop here. I'm going to make another tutorial and finish up the shoe. But now you have a good starting point. Uh, you can bring this in Maya. But we also want to go ahead and work on the tongue and make that go up on the next uh, tutorial. So good luck.